Time now for your tropical update. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresca. First, we're going to start off in the Pacific, where Hillary made landfall yesterday along the coast of Baja, California. Now a post-tropical storm system continuing to rain itself out. 40 miles per hour winds. Still some flash flooding issues across parts of the West Coast. We have got three named storms out here in the Atlantic. We've got Emily, Franklin, and newly formed Gert with maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour. Per hour. Also a tropical disturbance uh, that has a 70% chance of formation odds over the next seven days. But this one here in the Gulf also has a 70% chance. If this gets a name, the next name on the list will be Harold. Regardless of whether or not this becomes a tropical depression or a named storm, this storm system is going to bring some much needed rain across the state of Texas. Unfortunately, not to our part of, of Texas. Most of this rain gets shoved to the south as high pressure builds into the north. So the heaviest of that rain is going to stay between Brownsville, Corpus Christi. Victoria may get lucky with some heavy scattered downpours developing late tonight into tomorrow. And you can see the highest rainfall totals between Brownsville and Corpus Christi could pick up anywhere between three to five inches. Meanwhile, our coastal communities could get lucky, pick up maybe a half an inch, maybe even an inch of rain. Now, if that system does get a name, the na next name on the list is Harold and then paying close attention to also the next name on the list, which would be Idalia. All right, that's a look at your tropical update for now, my friends. Thank you for watching.